A super useful feature in Bricks Builder is the ability to share your templates across multiple sites. This is great. You could set up a really simple setup with a clean copy of Bricks installed, have all your templates in there and share those wherever you want on any different site. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can set that up for yourself. It's super easy. And once you've set it up, well, you kind of have access to the templates wherever you want them. Let's take a quick look. For example, we're going to have two different sites. One is going to have the templates we've created. The other is going to have the shared templates. Let me show you quickly how we can differentiate between the two. This is the site in the settings for Bricks where we've got the templates created. It's a standard copy of WordPress, all set up the way you'd expect. If we come over into our site that's going to receive those templates, I've changed the color scheme so you can easily see the difference when we go back and forth. So this light blue one, this is where we're going to share the templates to. This is going to have access to our templates. So let me show you how we do it. So setting up access to your templates is incredibly easy. We simply come into the Bricks panel, into Settings, and choose the Templates tab. Inside there, we can set up how we want to share the templates, who we want to share them with, and what access we want to give. So if we scroll down until we get the option that says My Template Access, switch that on, and we now make this available. But we can lock down who can get access to it. So it's not publicly available. If you want to make them publicly available, you can use the Public Templates option. Personally, I would prefer to keep these just inside my organization and share them maybe with other developers inside the organization or maybe with clients. So once we've done that, we've got three things to set up. The whitelist URL, the password protection, and if we want to exclude any of our templates. The whitelist URL basically says these domains can access this particular set of templates. So let's add that in first. Let's switch over to our site that's going to receive those templates. And all we're going to do is come up and copy the actual domain for this. So we'll copy that from our address bar. Jump back onto our site that's got all our templates and just simply pop that into the whitelist URL. Now we're saying that site can access these templates if it wants to. Next, we've got to put a password in. So let's keep this really secure. Please do a bear in mind, this will be deleted. And then if we want to exclude templates, we absolutely can do from here. But we'll leave everything set up as it is so access to all those templates are available. Now, what we're going to do is come down and click Save Settings. Now, if you're getting value from this video, why not pop down and just hit that thumbs up button to tell YouTube that you like it? And while you're down there, why not hit the subscribe button as well to be notified when new content just like this is added to the channel? If you don't enjoy the video, though, well, you can hit the thumbs down button twice, as that seems to work pretty well, too. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So we've now set this site up to be able to share with other sites that we give access to. So now if we come back into the site that wants to access them, denoted by the light blue, into the same section, so into Settings, into Templates, and scroll down. This time, we're going to come to the Remote Templates option. So Remote Templates, we're going to give this a name. The beauty of using the later versions of Bricks is now we can have multiple different locations for remote templates. So if you're using things like Bricks Maven, for example, you can have that inside you, and you can add your own templates in. So that's pretty cool. We can do that. Then you've got the URL. What's the URL of the site that has all of the different templates on it? So again, let's switch back to our site that's sharing those templates. And like we've just done, let's come up and copy that domain and simply pop that inside there. And now we just add in our incredibly secure password and click the option to save settings. We have now set everything up. If we scroll down, you can see there's our remote templates. And if you've added more in, you can simply click Add and add as many of these as you want to in here. Simple as that. So now let's go into Add a New Page. So now I've created a new blank page in Bricks. And let's come up to our templates. You can see Source My Templates are any templates I currently have set up on this specific site. So they're only on this site. We list it under my templates. However, if we drop this down, you see we now have the WP Tuts shared templates. If we click and open this up, that will now load in the templates from the other site and give us access to those. And it also show the kind of preview thumbnail that we've got from that site as well. Now it is worth bearing in mind that when you import any kind of template, you may have to do a little bit of remedial work where you've got to loop maybe a different name, different details, you're putting in custom posts, whatever it is, you may have to do a bit of basic remedial work. So all we need to do is click to install this and provide you've got all those things in place. For example, if you're using a CSS framework, you have that framework installed and configured. Everything will work exactly as you would expect it to. So if we go and insert, for example, this pop-up test, we'll click to insert it. 
you can see I'm already using the same CSS framework. In this case, it's core framework. So everything is configured correctly. However, if I wasn't, it would ask me to import those variables and any of those definitions and we get access to those provided we import them and everything will be imported in accordingly and our template then will look exactly as we expected to. So that's really how simple it is to set everything up to actually share your templates. So let's say we want to restrict access to particular templates. Let's do that. Let's jump back over into our first site that has all our templates on there. Let's come down to the settings for this. And like we've seen before, let's exclude the templates. Let's say we'll exclude them. We just try which is the pop up test. So we'll choose that option. So that's excluded now from the shared templates. We'll save our settings, head back over to our site that we're sharing with. And let's click to add a template in. And you can see now that that pop up is no longer available to us because we've restricted access to it. That's just how easy it is to set up shared templates and share those across your entire network of websites. If you want to learn more about working with Bricks, check out this playlist next. And as always, all applicable links are in the description down below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.